Hey guys, it's Jamie. I'm here to talk to you about bobble stitches and three different ways to make the bobble stitch depending on the look you're going for or maybe what your pattern is calling for. Before we get into how to do it, I just wanna give you a few tips on how bobble stitches are worked. First, they're always done on wrong side rows. So you're actually gonna make them on the back side of your work. And then when you make, after you finish making them, the, the bobble actually pushes through to the other side of the work. So you'll see it when you flip your work back over. Bobble stitches are made using double crochet stitches that you don't quite complete before you make the, before you add another double crochet. And then at the end, you'll tie them all together. I know that's a little confusing, so we'll walk through it step by step. But I wanna turn the work here to show you that I made three different bobble stitches here. So you can see they have a little bit of a raise, a little bigger raise, and a really prominent bump here. So each of these bobbles, each of these rows are made with three double crochet stitches, four double crochet stitches, or five double crochet stitches. Your pattern can call for any one of these, and it's really kind of up to you on which preference you like as well. So just know that we're, just know that your pattern is gonna call for a different number, and you can do which one you prefer, but I'll walk you through each one of these. Okay, so let's get started with the bobble stitch. Here we have the work just started in rows. Um, the bobbles are done always on the wrong side of your work. So when you're making patterns that have bobbles in them, often you'll find a row of bobbles and then you'll have a different row on the way back. And then the bobbles will start again to keep the bumps on the same side of your work. So let's start with some single crochet stitches because we want to keep the bobble like popped out on the work. So we're gonna start with single crochets because they're short and they will make that bump really pop. And the first kind of bobble we're gonna do has three double crochet stitches in it. You're just not gonna do them individually. You're gonna do them all into the same spot and all at the same time. And then we're gonna close it together. So let me show you what I mean. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop. When you have two rows or two loops left on your hook, you're gonna do another double crochet back into the same spot. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now we have two stitches together still on our hook here. We're gonna do a third double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Now we have the loop that was on our hook and then we have one loop for each of the three double crochet stitches. And we're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on our hook. So that's gonna make one complete bobble stitch. Now, if I look at it, there's not really anything to it. It's kind of flat, no real bump to it yet. Remember, we're on the wrong side or the back side of our work. In order to get that bump to really puff, puff out, we're gonna go into our next stitch with another single crochet stitch. So insert your hook, finish out your single crochet. And because that kind of pulls it pulls the the bobble cluster of stitches back down. It kind of shortens them because double crochet stitches are taller. You can see that on the other side of my work, now that cluster is really sticking out. Okay, let's do a few more bobbles in this row. Usually we have single crochet stitches leading up to it. We're gonna use three double crochet stitches 
and we're not going to finish them out until we have all three partially on our hook. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and uh, pull yarn over and pull through two. That's one partially done double crochet. Then you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now we have two double crochet stitches started. Let's do the third one into the same spot. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Now let's close the bobble stitch. Yarn over and pull. You can pinch the, the cluster with your thumb and forefinger if that helps as you pull through all of the loops. Let's make it really pump out there by doing another cro single crochet into the stitch next to you. From the back side of the work, you can tell there's just a little pucker in the material. You don't quite see it yet. Let's do a couple double crochets or single crochets. We'll do one more bobble, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two, back into the same spot, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, that's two. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through all the stitches. Okay, they're all in the same stitch together. Then we want a single crochet to get the bump pumped out there. And I'm gonna finish off this row with just regular single crochet stitches. Okay, here's the back side. Take note that these are the top two loops of the bobble stitches. They kind of want to curl to the back side. So when you flip back over to the front side, just be aware that even though it's three stitches into one, there's only one set of loops, um, the top two loops for the, that bobble stitch itself. So I'm going to chain one, turn my work. Here I'm on the front side of my piece. So you can see, I'll lay these bobbles down, you can see them nicely bumped out here and we're going to do the next row is just going to be single crochet stitches all the way across so that we can turn back to the wrong side and keep making our bobbles There's our bobbles, you can see them. See how much they really pump out, uh, plump out. And then from the back side, it's virtually flat. There's just a tiny indentation that you can see where that bobble is. You can also push them through with your fingers. Um, so let's do a couple more rows of single crochet, and then we'll show you, I'll show you another version of the bobble stitch. The next version of the bobble stitch is going to be with four double crochet stitches. I want you to be able to see what the difference is because you might like one version over the other when you're making uh, your projects. Even if the pattern that you're following calls for one, you might decide, you might try out a few different ones to see if you like them better. So let's do a couple of single crochets to get started. Okay, the first time we did bobbles, we did three double crochets. Let's do four double crochets. So again, yarn over, insert your hook, get to the point where you have two loops left and go back down for one more double crochet. Let's go back down again for a third one back down again for a fourth one. So 
you will have one, two, three, four double crochets on your hook, plus the loop that you started with. So five total loops, and then you will yarn over and pull through all the loops. Single crochet into your next stitch. Do, let's do a couple more bobbles here. Yarn over. Double crochet, almost completed. Another double crochet. Three double crochets. Need one more. So I have four double crochets, five loops total. Yarn over, pull through all the loops. Let's do a single crochet next to it. Two more single crochets and we'll do one more bobble stitch so we can see what this looks like. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull up a loop. One more, one more double crochet. Okay, four double crochets. Complete them all at once. Close out with the single crochets to complete the row. And here you are. So we have the bottom row has three double crochets per bobble. The next set of bobbles is four double crochets. I don't really see in this yarn, I don't really see the difference slightly slightly sticks out more but not a lot of difference here let's do it one more time and we'll use five double crochets and see if we can see anything different you have to play around with it let's do a couple rows of single crochet we're on the back side of our work we have a few puckers from where the bobbles are below. Let's do five double crochet bobbles. Three single crochets to start. Right. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. That's one. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. There's two, yarn over, Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now we have three. Repeat that again. Four. Let's get one more in here. Five double crochets. Six loops total. Yarn over, pull through all the loops. Single crochet into the stitch next to it. Do a couple more single crochets between. Let's do this again. One double crochet, two, three, four, five. Six loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through, all the loops. Single crochet three times. Okay, here we go, another bobble. One double crochet, two double crochets, three, four, Five. five double crochets, one loop, six loops total. Yarn over, pull through all the loops, and single crochet to the end of the row. Turn your work. It's kind of hard to see the difference in these bobbles, but you can tell if I push on the ones that have three loops, 
they almost kind of flatten out into the yarn. The ones with four double crochets, they don't like to flatten as much and certainly the five double crochets are very prominent bobbles. That might be a best way to look at them right here from the side. You can get five double crochets, four double crochets, three double crochets. So it's just a matter of how subtle the or prominent you want the bobble to be. I'm gonna finish out the swatch here. And there you have it. That's the bobble stitch in three different versions, three double crochets, four or five double crochets per bobble, depending on how much of a bump you would like to get. Be sure to practice this swatch and uh, see for yourself. It's different in every yarn and you might like one or the other. And let me know down below, do you have a favorite? What's your go-to bobble? I think mine is typically a three or a four stitch bobble, but I really like these bumps up here with five, so I might need to incorporate them soon. Let me know what you think.